Okay, let's work on improving your algebra skills, and we're going to do that by solving this equation here. Now, of course, I'm going to walk through the solution uh, step by step, but what I want you to do is to think about what type of equation this is. And then, if you know what type of equation this is, what type of um, uh, strategies or procedures can you apply to solve this particular equation? Of course, I'm going to answer all of this in just one second, but if you know how to do this, go ahead and put your answers into the comment section. If you're taking any sort of algebra course, at least at the Algebra 1 level and beyond, you absolutely need to know how to do this. So I'm going to walk through all of this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've come to the conclusion that all students can be successful in math. It requires two things. One, you got to be willing to do the work. So if you're having a tough time in math, but you're not putting in the work, well, that's your first problem. Okay, you got to work harder at it. But the second thing you need is great math instruction, clear and understandable. And that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, even college level, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link uh, to it in the description of this video. By the way, if you're preparing for any sort of test with the math section, things like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, or teacher certification exam, I can help you out there as long um, as well as if you homeschool, I have a uh, great library of middle and high school homeschool math courses you can check out. And if this video helps you out, consider helping me out by liking and subscribing to my channel. Okay, so let's get uh, to this. We have 2x minus 1 times x plus 5 is equal to 0. So again, in algebra, a big part of solving any equation or dealing with any kind of problem is by, you know, first of all, just recognizing what are we dealing with, okay? So what type of equation is this? And that's going to have a, a real in, um, specific uh, bearings on what we do, okay? Because uh, in algebra, there's all different sorts of equations. If you bring the wrong tool to the problem, you're going to get this uh, incorrect. So let's get to it and answer the first question, and that is what type of equation we're dealing with. Well, if you said quadratic equation, then that's excellent. That's exactly what this is. But if you didn't know what um, that this was a quadratic equation, one thing you could do is you can just multiply these two binomials. You could do that using the FOIL method, first, outer, inner, last. And by the way, any um, thing that I'm talking about, if you need additional help, I'm going to recommend a couple things. One, I have a ton of videos on all these topics on my YouTube channel and my various playlists. Or you might want to check out one of my full uh, courses, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Pre-Algebra, whatever algebra level you're at, I got you covered in my math help program. But anyways, if you multiply these two binomials, you'll see that 2x minus 1 times x plus 5 is the same as 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. Again, you got to know how to multiply binomials, but what we're dealing with here is a polynomial of degree 2. Okay, a polynomial of degree two. And some of you out there might be like, oh, this is just like a waste of time for you to explain this to me. No, it, actually it's not. Because again, um, depending upon what you're dealing with, you can't just assume that this is a quadratic equation. You need to know there's all sorts of equations in algebra. Okay, and you have to understand various, uh, the very specific definitions of each. Okay, so this is a polynomial of degree two. And by definition, that is a quadratic equation. Okay, so what do we know about uh, quadratic equations? Well, let's just kind of go through this little graphic organizer I kind of uh, did here. Well, the first thing is that you always are going to have two solutions when it comes to any quadratic equation. Okay, that could be two imaginary number, uh, complex number solutions, or two real number uh, solutions. Uh, so anyways, but the bottom line is you will have two solutions. Now, and depending upon the format of the problem, sometimes you can take the square root of um, either side and solve a quadratic equation. That's not the case in this particular uh, problem, but let's just kind of quickly do a, a review of quadratic equations. So sometimes you can do this. Sometimes you can factor quadratic equations like this. So this is a bit of a hint. If this was the problem, this is the factors, okay? So we have the factors of this trinomial. So I'm going to talk about what we do here in a second when we uh, when we can factor a quadratic trinomial. But if we can't um, take the square root of both sides and we can't factor, we can always use our friend the quadratic formula to solve any quadratic equation. 
Then there's something out there called completing the square, which is kind of like the long version of the quadratic formula. But you're going to need to know all of these things if you're taking any sort of algebra course. Okay, so again, um, it all starts with your uh, recognition of what type of equation you're dealing with, and then the various um, you know concepts, techniques involved in that particular type of equation. That's why it's so important to take notes. By the way, let me just uh, mention, if you're looking for a great pair of algebra notes, I'm going to leave links to my notes in the description of this video as well. Okay, so let's get into this. We're going to actually uh, factor, but this problem is already given to us factor. Okay, so we just have to recognize that this, that this is a quadratic equation and these two binomials okay, are factors of this right here. We don't need to multiply these right here. We just need to know that, uh, understand that these are factors of this quadratic trinomial. And in addition, it, what's really, really important here, that this these two factors being multiplied by one another is set equal to zero. Okay, so these are very, very important kind of conditions to recognize. And with that being said, let's go ahead and solve this quadratic equation uh, by factoring. Okay, so again, this is already factored. This is 2x minus 1 times x plus 5. It's equal to 0. So let's uh, take a look at a simple concept here. If I said I have one factor, let's say it's a, and we multiply it by something else, b, and it's equal to zero. A times B is equal to zero. So in other words, this is one factor. We're multiplying it by another factor, but the answer is zero. That's kind of the situation here, right? We have one factor being multiplied by another factor, but the answer is zero. So let's just think about this for a second. If I said we have two things being multiplied and the answer is zero, what does that tell us about one or both of these values? Well, I don't know what these values are, if I just said, hey, uh, I got these two numbers. When I multiply them together, the answer is zero. What does that mean about one or both of these numbers? Well, it means that one of these numbers has to be zero. You can't get a zero in the other way. So one or both of these numbers must be zero. And this is something called the zero product property. Okay, very, very important. An absolute great way to solve equations in algebra. If you can um, write the factors, Okay, on one side of the equation and have that equal to zero, you can use the zero product property. And the way that, that works is that you can set each factor equal to zero. So I'm like, okay, one of these or both of these have to be equal to zero. So we're going to set each of these respective factors equal to zero. So we're going to say 2x minus 1, uh, one, is, one is that equal to zero, and then x plus 5, one is that equal to zero. And then we're going to uh, solve the respective equations here. 4x. Okay, you can see here that x is equal to 1 half, and here x is equal to negative 5, just real basic equations. And this is our two solutions. Okay, you can kind of label them as x1, x2, whatever the case is. x is equal to 1 half, and x is equal to negative 5 are the two solutions to this quadratic equation. And uh, the way we did this is we set each factor equal to 0. It's an application of the zero product property. So again, if you got this right, let me go ahead and reward you with a nice, lovely, happy face with a good old 1985 flat top haircut. Okay, I used to wear that thing way back in the day. I don't see uh, flat top haircuts around anymore. I don't know, maybe maybe someday they'll come back. But that's an excellent haircut. And uh, especially if you uh, grew up any place uh, that's hot like I did in Southern California, it just uh, helped me keep me cool. But anyways, uh, just like your ability to do the zero product property, which is pretty cool. Those flat tops are pretty cool, but I'm gonna throw in an A plus and a few stars for your ability to solve this quadratic equation. But again, it's not just about you getting the answers, it's about you understanding the concepts that got you the answers, right? So algebra, you don't wanna learn it in some sort of kind of mechanical way where you're just doing things and you're like, okay, I just know I do this to get the answer. You need to understand the concepts behind that. And hopefully, this video helps you out. All right, so again, uh, if you need additional assistance with quadratic equations or algebra, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel. Plus, any one of my algebra courses could help you out. But if this video helped you out, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.